let us talk about the uh, GSM logical channels so what is a logical channel we understood uh, what is a physical channel um, let me tell you that uh, you know that in one frequency we have a time slot and uh, this is what we call it as a one frequency has a time slot so one frequency a time slot so this is what the eight time slot means on a one frequency we have a eight time slot that is we call it as a physical time slot now and uh, what is identity of this uh, time slot uh, time slot number zero one two three four five six seven so these are the eight time slot and uh, uh, you know uh, this eight time slots are eight physical channel now what is a logical channel I mean logical channel means I may use this this time slot number two for some traffic purpose you know then I am sending the TCH channel I may use this time slot for the SDCCH channel so I can say this time slot is SDCCH I can use this time slot if uh, this uh, this this frequency is planned for BCCH TRX and I use this time slot 0 as a BCCH time slot so it is carrying the signal link so now uh, what is the logical channel means you can see here in each physical time slot we have made the different types of the channel you know channel means the information you can see that zero time slot is going to radiate the signaling so it is going to radiate signaling uh, the the first time slot is also going to radiate the SDCCH we will see more in detail what exactly those uh, SDCCH and what is a you know like uh, purpose of this channel and all and you can see the two is on TCH channel so now we understand that uh, you know I can I can assign the remaining time slot all as a TCH time slot so they are going to transmit the traffic channel okay so now uh, when the first time the TDMA frame comes okay let me tell you that how it works so first time when the physical so this is how we map you know after that we have to see what is going to come over here so you can see when the first time the TDMA frame comes you know you know the TDMA frame this is number zero frame then it is one then it is this is a second multi frame this is third multi frame this frame number is two so this is your frame number zero now you can see this zero time slot one two three so I can trick you know I'm 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 idle phone let's say my phone is in idle mode so I'm I'm listening to the zero time slot of the BCCH TRX so this is zero time slot and I am listening to this time slot number zero of and the first time when I when I read this time slot then I, I open this information and I come to know that this this information is FCCH that is a frequency correction channel okay we will see that more in detail but let me tell you that what is coming here you know and then the next time slot is radiating uh, the SDCCH as we have seen what we have configured before other time slot is going to radiate the TCH other time slot is going to radiate the TCH so this is the fifth time slot TCH sixth time slot is also TCH the seventh time slot is TCH and the eighth time slot is TCH so you can see that then the frame number zero is coming this is I'm more interested to listen the zero time slot as I am in idle mode so I can see the first time it came is FCH you know after that they said this is the let's say you know this is a frame number uh, zero now the next frame will come as you know that means after one frame the next is going to come and then after the third is going to come so when the third time oh sorry the 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 the, the, f the frame number one comes let me see what is coming in the zero time slot so that time I can found this is coming is SCH channel this is we call it as a synchronization channel I will tell you what is the purpose of this so this way you can see then the next one is SDCCH so the same one the TCH as above and uh, it is similar all the time slots are coming right and again the second so this is the first frame so it was a zeroth frame this is first frame okay now the second frame so this is this this frame is going to come now 
and it will come here again I am more interested what is coming on the zero time slot so that time I come to know this is coming as a BCCH okay so this way this is, is keep coming and I am more interested as I am idle phone so I'm more interested what is coming on the zero time slot so you can see first time it was a frequency correction channel the second time it was a synchronization channel the third time it was a BCCH channel so you can see the time slot physically I can say the time slot is zero but every time logically it is transmitting the FCH first second time it was transmitting the SCH third time it is transmitting the BCCH maybe fourth time is also BCCH right and you know that means when I transmit here and then I sorry when I when I receive here uh, and when I receive the second time I need to wait for the entire time here you know this is one TDMA frame is 4.615 millisecond so you can see between two information you know I'm interested on the zero time slot so when I read first time and when I read second time I need to wait for 4.615 millisecond right so this is how I am interested in zero time slot and you can see the physically the time slot zero is you know uh, is the physical time slot but you can see the different time uh, this time slot is radiating the different kind of information right so I can say that logical channel means which get maps into the physical time slot so here you can see in my example this time slot number zero is transmitting the frequency correction channel next TDMA frame it is transmitting the synchronization channel then another TDMA frame it is transmitting the BCCH channel then again the BCCH channel so you can see if you keep recording or if keep record on this what information is coming over here then you can see the pattern I mean that the, the what information the network is transmitting okay so let me so th this, this is what the logical channel you know this is uh, these are the logical channels you know this is the logical channels right so let me summarize I mean the physical channel means the frequency has eight time slot that is a physical channel and each time slot in the different TDMA frame they may transmit some signaling channel uh, which has uh, some purpose in the network and or they may transmit the TCH channel which is carrying the user data right so uh, logical channels will decide the, the uh, well, sorry the, the physical channel what kind of information travel over the air interface will decide what logical channel is traveling right so based on this um, let me let me uh, get back to you on uh, on the more on the multi frame and the uh, understanding of the multi frame so you know the zero time slot here you can see it is radiating the signaling right so if you if you track this pattern what is coming over here uh, we have some uh, signaling pattern after a certain number uh, it will get repeated and this uh, the pattern what you generate from the zero time slot we call it as a 51 multi frame okay if you have SDCCH if you define this time slot as SDCCH by 8 then you can you can again you can uh, check the pattern of what is coming over the one, th one time slot and then uh, you can see af it is also similar 51 multi frame and after multi frame it gets repeated same, same like the BCCH time slot it get the repeated and if you go to the TCH of the any of the call which is on the TCH well, let me tell you this example has a full red TCH call then you can see the when you read the time slot number 7 it will bring the user data on TCH then again if you read the second frame when the second frame again get the repeated you will come over here and see it will come with the TCH so here also this is your first data this is your second data like we likewise if you track what is coming on the time slot number seven you will see the 25th time slot will be idle and here the 12th one 12th time slot or the 12th time the TDMA frame uh, will, will bring is a set slow associate control channel we'll see the function of all this so this one you can see after 25 the same frame get repeated so that's why the color is a TCH is 26 multi frame where the BCCH is 51 multi frame if you define time slot as, uh, as DCCH it is also 51 multi frame and as we discussed the TCH is 26 multi frame so if you understand this I mean how this information flow over the time slot and how they create or generate the multi frames 
and then we will talk more about the logical channels then the different types of the logical channels and what is their purpose in the network okay see you in the next lecture